inside of view.createApp. So far, we've only been working inside of this data section. And now we're going to add a new section, which is going to be for methods. This will allow us to do lots of cool things such as changing our data and generally making our apps a lot more interactive and useful. If you are familiar with functions in JavaScript, methods do the same thing, but instead they have the name method because they are part of this object. Whereas our data section was set up as a function, our methods are set up as an object because we're going to call them manually. So make sure we are outside of our data section. Let's scroll down to the closing curly brace. Then after this, we're going to set up our methods just as an object. The first method which we're going to use is going to be to toggle our dark mode. This is because we don't want too much JavaScript logic to be placed in our HTML file. So we're going to abstract the toggling of our color scheme into this method. So let's cut this out and paste this inside of our method. And then we need to change dark mode set to be this dot dark mode set. The reason we're using this, this keyword is because both the data section and also the method section is part of what is called the options API. The sections amongst others, which we'll look at soon, have access to each other's properties by using the this keyword. So for example, our methods can access anything from the data section, as long as we use the this keyword. So we could access this.name, this.links, and also in return, the data section can call our method. So we could say this.toggle mode. So now all that's left to do is to call this method from our index page. So pass in toggle mode, refresh the browser, and now we can still switch between our two color versions, but this time by extracting our code into a method.